Alrighty, welcome back. I'm back at it. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. I just been on the other side doing the other side. I'm going to tack a couple places here just to make myself happier with the top of this fender. Jolene can go to the other side and show you what's going on or what has been done or what I'm doing. I've got both sides looking the same now. Got the round rod run on the other side, have the top of the fender on, have part of the fender done. I figured instead of me taking off and making coming back and doing this piece, I might as well go over there and do the other fender and, and have you here while I'm doing the rest of the inner fender. Uh, that makes more sense to me and I hope it makes sense to you. We're showing you the full process of what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just tacking that on a little bit better just to get it down a little bit further. Playing with it here for a second. So what's going to happen is I made a pattern. Uh, we've got both sides covered in. Both inner fenders started. Both pieces of round rod run. Now we're going to make that piece down the corner and we'll do it together because don't want to do a lot of pounding on that. Not whatsoever. Not yet. And everything's not tight and right yet. So we've got everything going that way. We may as well make that piece together there so we say we've done the whole thing in front of your very eyes and you know exactly what's going on i'm liking what's going on there i like the hood i like the hood sides i'm liking the fenders and the more and more i i put you know put on the, the more i like it i like how thick this is i'm not sure if you do or not i guess that it really doesn't matter if you do if you don't um, i like it um, it's going good. So now we're going to make the triangles for in here. I laid a piece of Bristol board in there before. Um, this is going to be close. I just laid it in there, traced it up the back side on the Bristol board here, traced, made a line on there, and I'm thinking that I'm close. I'm close. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to have, might have to cut a, a, a little bit off the end there. I'm going to start the welder back up for a second. I see a little piece I want to weld. So basically, I've made another pattern uh, to finish off the fender. So we'll finish off both fenders, and then we'll be on to the running boards, and you'll be able to see every piece that I put on it and how I did it. So that basically tells me that you could do the exact same thing because I have done nothing here that was mind-boggling, as far as my opinion. Nothing on this truck that I've done so far is mind-boggling. It's just a matter of, uh, what can I say? Just a matter of going for it. That's basically it. I'm gonna use my straight edge. My straight edge is my bottom line, and I've got enough. Look at that, would you? Beautiful. Jolene is beautiful. Don't get it mixed up, boys. I'm gonna stick these magnets on here. I've got it right over to the edge. Let's get a marker and let's trace these out. Let's, let's finish up the fenders. I have not finished welding um, the underneath there yet. And that all can happen when everything's pulled off and then I can turn it upside down. Like all this stuff on the top, I would weld um, why it's like this. Anything that I can't get down in here where there's little whatever, I'm going to weld it when I get it upside down or inside out or whatever. But that's the time to weld it. I just want to get it all in place and get it looking right. I'm liking the way it's looking. I like it. You ever see the Alexander Keese commercial? Probably not. That's a Nova Scotian beer, Alexander Keese. I like it, and I like it a lot. Alrighty, there's one right there. Let's do the plasma cutter. Let's get the air going here. And the reason I'm going to use the plasma cutter because I'm going to give everybody's wife a break. Most generally, everybody that we meet or talk to or come across, we've met them and their wife, and their wife says, I can't stand when that grinder's going, him watching. <laughs> Don't they, baby? Huh? It's funny. Well, it's not funny, but it is, it is in a way, but um, it is in a way. Now, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. Got a piece of angle iron. I'm going to put a piece of angle iron underneath that. And then it'll set it up so I can cut it. Ah. 
that now, would you? Beautiful. Now, what I'm thinking is, when I cut that one there, then I can use that shape to cut my next one. That's what I'm thinking. I'm hoping that this does both sides. I'm hoping. We'll see what happens. Thank everybody for coming back and all the compliments. And those who, you know, <laughs> who throw in the other kind of comments, keep watching. Uh, we might make you happy. We might not, but that doesn't not matter either. Yeah, so it's going to be nice to see the front end. Now, I looked at a picture that Jolene took earlier without no hood and without no fenders and all that stuff. I really like it a lot better with the hood, so hood sides and the fenders. I like it a lot better. This seems to be a lot more of a truck. And there is, obviously. A lot more of a truck. Get a nice line going here. Didn't want to do that, but I did. I'm going to go there. How did I do that when I had a roar? It happens. Don't be too hard on yourself when it happens to you. Now I need a camera for the slag. Didn't hurt the cement any. Nope. We're up high enough. So if you want to make running boards or fenders for your truck, car, whatever, if you want to make them the way I have, all the power to you. It's pretty basic, I would say. I'm going to cut this with a zip cut because we got it nice and close. I could actually run the polisher or the, I guess the polisher, I guess that I could run that machine over it first before I put it on. But we got to weld it all up and that sort of thing. We can do that at any time, point in time when we take it all off, I suppose. Now, just wiping it off, trying to make it look the best I can. 
at all times. You want to make it look the best you can at all times. Alrighty, that's look at that. Come look, come take a look. That's a nice fit down around down amongst that. We want a little tiny bit of a gap in it, so when we grind it off, you know what happens. If you want to grind it all off and make it look uh, superb, well, you're going to have to uh, make sure that you have distance in between. Now, I that actually made it look like a fender, didn't it? We're going to get that up in there. Let's see what I need to cut off here. cut that off I'm not sure if it was right or not but I'm just gonna cut it off if it needs a little bit of weld in it well then you know what I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna grab a coat hanger and fix it dinner And it's going to fall on me quite a bit, and the reason being is we're trying to make it fit tight and right is what we're trying to do. I think we're cooking with gas, to be honest with you. I think that was good. Perfect. Excellent. Absolutely perfect. All right, now I'm going to tack one, and then what I'll do is I'll put it in place. Once you tack it once, you can still move it. Tack it twice, you're done. All righty. Now, I want it the best I can get it. That's what I want it. That's not it. That's not it. It's not it either. I want no water on it. What I'm going to do. I'm gonna grab my magnets for me. How do you think they'll hold it? Jolene's gonna get. It's just that it's on an angle, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Like, drop my welder. Even. Just gonna put a. Nope. I'm going to. What? I'm going to tack it. Stay down. I'll spot a weld. I don't see it. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. I'm thinking it did. Feels good on the bottom. Is the line look good there, baby? Does that line look good? Is there a gap there? There's a good gap. How? What's a good gap? Less gap now? Maybe. Perfect. Okay. Good? No, I think I want to leave it. Go right there, I think. I'm just going to, if I tack it there, I'll tack it right here so I can get it cut off. Gorgeous! You are. You're gorgeous. We're good on the bottom. Excellent. Absolutely perfect. Now, lined up there nice. Now, I'll be able to buff that weld that all the way through there, grind it off right to the max, and the reason being is, We've got a nice angle going on there. We'll be able to, couldn't ask any better. Weld it on, Hilti, weld it on, buddy.
Now I'm gonna weld this on. Awesome. Fits that ramrod perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Not going to all right, there's my fender for that one. You want to take a look? Have to take a look. Have to take a look. That went very nice. I couldn't ask any better. The lines are straight. Uh, this metal here is lining up with that metal, going down with that metal. Um, Looks good. Very happy. Let's cut another one. Let's do it. You can see we're, we're butt welding it together. You can see that you, you get very nice penetration all the way through when you've got a gap. If I did not have a gap, um, you'd be wondering, you'd be wondering if you ground it off whether you did or not. Let's get another one going. Awesome. Makes me happy, very happy. One thing I do not know, one thing I do not know, as I put the, <laughs> babies give me a, a strange look. When I turn the wheel, is the wheel gonna come up in there and hit anything? It shouldn't. Do not know that yet. <laughs> Maybe I should have figured that out before I made the fenders, eh? But. We didn't, so carry on. Carry on. All right. We have the line. Look that now, would you? That's perfect. Put it right to that corner. Tina, she works as hard as we do, you know. We come out here all the time, every day, actually, every day. She's out here with us generally every day. She works just as hard as we do, don't you, Fiend Bean? Huh? You work just as hard as we do. The mice keep eating your treats, don't they? The mice keep eating your treats, don't they? Damn mice. All right, I'm going to get back at it. Sorry. Thank you for the kisses. I like my dog, but I, I generally don't like her licking my face. I don't like that part. <laughs> generally not. Because I know where her tongue's been, and uh, she's allowed to lick my neck, but not my face. Please, no. Please, no. I'm ready this. Ready this. We got that. line is what we need. We need a straight line. Ooh, that looks like a straight line. Thanks, baby. You're there for me, aren't you? Huh? You're there for me, aren't you? Beautiful. Awesome. It's awesome.
Now, the pattern that I made, I made for that side. So, um, if we can get this one to work on the other side or get it close, it'd be fantastic. If it's way out of whack, eh, I won't be that happy, but can't see both sides at the same time. We don't get it smoothed off. Got to do the pain part, and the pain part is. Yeah, I didn't hurt that a bit. Pain part is moving the welder. That's the pain part. Probably the hardest part of the job, really, is moving the welder. Primer's dry. <laughs> we've, got our, we've got our belt buckles for the hood. Uh, I'm honestly waiting uh, for a mechanic friend of mine to come and um, get the engine going. That's what I'm waiting for. Uh, I don't want to go past that without getting that engine running. I want to get the engine running before I get all excited and put some paint on that. So bear with me. Bear with me. We'll get her done. It's still winter time. Now, marker. Marker. See if we can make this one fit on this side. Wow. Hickory dickory dog. Look at that, will you? Nice. Awesome. Ha 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 ha. Stop it. If you get a mark on your car with a marker, uh, on the primer or on the paint and everything like that and you try to paint over top of it it'll come back through so just let yourself be known I'm going to do the exact same thing I think it needs a little bit off oh, but then again I sort of want to get it the same line as that right there coming down like that I'm a little bit long I think on the round rod but that's okay because i'll chop that off later when i get the fender off so i'm going to leave that go i think it's i think it's a little bit long down that just a little tiny bit 
that's just a matter of the round rod being up maybe a little i'm going to stick my helmet on i'm going to pluck that piece on and then i can see where i'm long on that piece going down on the round rod no sense me trying to make that fit perfectly now when i want to pull it all off and then i can really make it fit right So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make it fit right up here. Mm. Don't like that right there. It's got to be knocked down just a little tiny bit and make that tight. See, I got a little gap going there. going to knock that on a little tighter maybe maybe like something like that would be fine all right one one I can move it and two it's there that fits nice down here in the round rod and I'm going with it Ooh, that's got quite a gap going on there. No, it's not gonna work. Yeah. Not liking that. Don't want that. Alrighty. I'm a little off. Some would say, you're a little off. Yeah. What I'm going to do is. What am I going to do with this? I should have. What I should have done. Stop it. I made a little mark on that. Shut that off. It's not bad though. It's not bad. All I did is I, I, when I lifted it up, I had a gap on the bottom. I had no gap on the top. So all I did is took that gap ahead down there and tried to transfer it up here and try to make the same distance. Then I'll cut it to that point. I'm not gonna cut it completely to that point. If you know what I'm trying to tell you, I'm not gonna cut all that off. I just wanna cut enough to make it a little bit better. I'm gonna zip cut that. I didn't shut that welder off, but I could have. Spark in the eye. After we get this piece on, we can say that we have successfully made a fender for the truck, or two fenders for the truck. That's what we can say. It's not where I wanted it. Ah, come on now, come on baby. Get on the outside of that.
I know that's a fair gap. Going down here now. I'm going to try to pull it down on the round rod. Now, how much to take a look? Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. I'm going to push this together. There'll be penetration, there'll be complete penetration there, will there not? Sure will. If you didn't know, I'm telling you. Ouch. Ouch. Yo! Good. Awesome. Now we're going to lay Let's work our way down. Add a little bit up down there. Look at that love tap of the hammer. We've got lots. Beautiful. Beautiful you are, Joey. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just away here a little bit. Bend this down on. I'll do it. I'll do it. Attack it and then I can get a little touch with the hammer. Right here. Then I can give it a tap. Probably could have got it after, but I wanted it now. Good. So, as we look down that, we've got two nice fenders. I've um, got a nice, quite a nice gap for the, for the headers coming out. The headers are coming out there nice, kind of worked out nice. Um, kind, kind of made it that way, I guess. The headers are working out nice. The fenders look good to me. They look good to me. Uh, this will all have to be welded. Remind yourself, it all has to be welded. There's a bunch of welding going on there, a little bit at a time. Everything's like where that's being butt welded together, that you can, we can flush that off nice. Where that's welded there, we can grind that off nice. We've never grind it on an angle. We grind it flat and let the weld sit in that hole there. Where we weld this here, we'll hang it off this way. Uh, now, just for, just for giggles, this is something that we can maybe get some people to comment about or talk about or share or like or whatever. I got the, got the headlights here. I got a couple headlight brackets here. I had to take them off both wheels. That's why I had to put it on jack stands. I had to get these off. Uh, they were hooked to the wheel. This is the question for the comment section. Headlights up here. Headlights in here. The headlights in here, like it's, we got this angle iron piece in there. 
it will not look so much like angle iron once that piece of metal is welded down there on that edge it'll look it, it'll take away from that look but we can put the headlight in here or we can put the headlight upside put the headlight down in here don't want it in there so down on the frame we can put that on the frame there it won't be out that far obviously but we can put it down here on the frame down low on the bottom of the frame like that so we have a bracket come right off here and put your maybe your headlight in there maybe we can put the headlight in between the fender and the red shell or we put the headlight on top of the fender on top of the fender in between the fender and the red shell or down on the chassis three different places so there's a there's a comment section i think everybody uh, go to the comment section and throw in what you think you would like to see done with that i am not going to go any further with it right now reason being is i like what's going on um, the next time we come back and go for it i'm going to keep you involved in the whole thing we'll do the running board and the brackets to hold the running board because remember i said before um, this is not going to be enough we're going to have to make brackets for this side and this side to hold the running board and the fenders and then we'll make a piece of metal for the fender we're also going to have to put a piece in between the running board uh, you're not going to want to step on any piece 18 gauge we're going to have to run something in there We've got some angle arm, we've got some square stock, we've got some material that we'll probably throw in there. If you want to come this way, this is not bolted in there yet. The bolts are just kind of, I didn't put the bolts in it to hold the side panel on. But now you can see what that's going to, that's what that's going to look like inside there. I think it looks really sharp. We'll go to the other side and take a look at the other side. Man, that looks just as sharp as the other side. Exhaust comes out nice. I feel like we're cooking with gas and I feel like it's going to uh, make it twice the truck twice the truck all right everybody thanks for coming back I really appreciate it I wanted to take the time and pull that bracket off that thing there and put the top on that fender and put that piece in put the round rod in keep finish the bracket and that way there you could see me put the triangle in instead of me putting that in still having a bunch to do on that side uh, we'll do the exact same thing I'll do the running board on this side and then i'll go over and do that one that way we're on the same page and everybody gets to see everything all right like share comment come back subscribe um, in the comment section where would you put the headlights thanks for coming back everybody have a good one